Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Pam, for those of you that are new here. Today I'm going to be thrifting close to my home in Columbia, South Carolina. I also have some video from the Camden, South Carolina Goodwill that's not too far from where I live, so I'm gonna add that into the mix. But today I'm shopping for my two booths that I have in a local vintage shopping center. Both shops are in the same shopping center and they are called Not Forgotten and Pontiac Mercantile. I will add their info in the description box below in case you are local and you want to check them out. There are really cute stores you should come by and visit. I would also love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Please leave me a comment as I love to hear from you. Now, go ahead and grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's go thrifting. These mugs were really cool. They look like they were some type of souvenir mug, but they were in really good condition. This vintage sugar and creamer set was really pretty. I love the flowers. It was in pretty good condition, but there was a little bit of paint loss. So I left them behind. These little roly-poly glasses were really cute. I believe the color was flashed on. I love that gold around the top and they had quite a few of them. And not far from these, you get to see another set of roly-polies. These have that Dorothy Thorpe look to them, and they were engraved with someone's initials. And here we have another fun souvenir type piece. This wooden mug is from the Bahamas. This piece caught my eye. Doesn't it look like a fish swimming towards you? It has that face on it, but if you look at the side, wait a minute, those were calla lilies, and this is a vase made by Mikasa. It really was a beautiful thing, but look, there's that face again. Can you see it? I couldn't not see it after I saw it initially. I couldn't see the lilies anymore. So this was a really cool piece. Oh, and if you hear a dog snoring in the background, that's just my Kiwi. She's taking her afternoon nap. Artificial flowers or artificial plants are always a great pickup, especially if you're someone like me that forgets that you have plants in the house and they eventually die. So keep your eye um, open for all those artificial flowers. And this, I think maybe this looks like a purse and I believe it could be a cookie jar. I thought it was really pretty and something completely different. This little platter was cute. It was made by Temptations. I like that wood grain look to it on the top and it did not have a price unfortunately, so I just left it behind. This Christmas piece looks like it maybe it would hold crackers or some hors d'oeuvres. I did notice on the bottom it was from World Bazaar. I think World Bazaar is a store that maybe has gone out of business. Maybe it was back in the 90s. Do you remember seeing them in the malls when you were younger? Let me know if you know anything about World Bazaar. This crock pot is definitely old. It has those vintage colors and it certainly was quite dirty. That would deter me from picking this piece up. Take a look at this wicker magazine rack. Oh, I love it. The only thing about this one was that it was really loosey-goosey. Do you know what I mean? Like it just seemed to have been worn out a little bit. These jewelry hangers would be fun to have in your booth if you sold different types of necklaces. I think they're fun. It's called a jewelry tree, and I just think they're fun. 
This lamp caught my interest. I thought it was really pretty. I like that ribbed look to it. It looks like a piece of milk glass, but it was not vintage. It looks to be pretty new and gosh, it was in great looking condition. I'm just gonna tell you right now, Goodwill overprices their Polish pottery. Every time I see Polish pottery in Goodwill, it's priced too high for resale. If I were keeping it, maybe I would pick it up, but I'm not gonna keep Polish pottery. And the prices were just too high for resale. So I left all of this beautiful pottery behind. Look at this sweet little pitcher. It's made by Russ. I didn't realize Russ made pitchers. I thought they were only into plush, but I just think it's adorable. It's a little peach. And then I saw this massive cow cookie jar. And it was made by Sakura. But look, it is huge. Perfect for someone's farmhouse decor. And of course I ran into another little pitcher. This may be a teapot without the lid. It was just your basic bunnies. I thought it was really cute. I found this planter and it's this cute little dog. This type of planter reminds me of those baby planters. I'm not sure if it's made by the same company or if it's supposed to be in the same style, but I did leave this one behind. Then I saw another planter. This was a sweet little kitty planter. I like the basket weave look on this one and the muted colors. I found the top part to a bunny on nest and y'all I looked and looked and looked all over the store for the bottom part but I couldn't find it. This was a cute figurine that said sister. It was in the style of like those willow trees. It was made by Hallmark. And you know what I loved? I loved the pink hair. I believe this swan was very vintage. It reminds me of those swans that you would see in the bathroom with your rolled up hand towels in it. I wondered if this owl is supposed to be a lid to some type of brass jar. That's what it looked like to me.
I was about to snatch this wicker plant basket up and put it in my cart until I noticed all of those coffee cups inside and the price was really too expensive. Look at this Hess truck. Well, it's actually an RV. It's a training van and these aren't very desirable right now, but this is a really fun find. I like the looks of this pottery pitcher. It did have some chipping on it, so it did not come home with me. I found another magazine rack, but this one was in the Camden store. Check out this rattan rack. Unfortunately, it had some problem areas, and of course I didn't take it with me, but look how awesome this one is. I love it, but oh, of course a little sad. And I just think it is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen a wooden handheld mirror before. I always see silver plated or even the plastic or lucite. This one was really lovely. Next to the checkout, I found a few more goodies to look at while I wait in line. This House of Windsor cigar case, and it was probably a little bit older. Then look at this groovy planter. I couldn't tell who the maker was from the bottom, but you definitely can tell it's got a little age to it. If you by chance missed seeing the video that I dropped on Wednesday, make sure you go check it out after my haul. I'll have an iCard link for you on the screen and a link in the description box below. The first thing that I would like to share with you is this sweet little peach pitcher. Now this pitcher was made by Russ and I was not aware that they made things other than plush toys. I already have this picture in my booth, which is why you've got this crummy picture here that I've taken, but I'm pretty excited about it because I think it's going to do very well, and that is the only thing I purchase on this trip, so that's going to do it for today. Thanks for shopping along with me. If you enjoy this type of content, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment below, and until next time. Bye-bye.